Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome to The Legend of Valkyrie. So, I'm going to be honest, this game is brutal. Extremely brutal. Because this, is, this game old, pretty much only came out in Japan. The only exception to this is its inclusion in... Uh, in Namco Museum Volume Five for the play for the for the PlayStation uh, for the PlayStation One and uh, PlayStation uh, X, and uh, and this is actually my second take of the Let's Play because I was because I wasn't really proud of the original uh, recording I did because I kind of lost my composure at at the at the game's difficulty. So I'm so now I'm gonna try again and make sure I don't get extremely angry for for no reason. But yeah. That being said, let's start. I'm just gonna smash the credit button. Now, now I like now I like the other arcade games I I did. Uh, well, it, well, excluding Metal Slug since I used my arcade controller for that. Which uh, from from for the Metal Slug Two, I'll be using a different controller, better than the ar arcade stick. Um, but unlike but unlike the other arcade games I did where I used the keyboard. This time I'm actually using the, an actual PlayStation controller. I'm using my DualShock 4 because I because I actually own a, a, a PS4. But anyway, let's start. I'm going to see which bot happiness among people is now starting trouble. Please save the Earth with your great power. So we're playing it as the uh, the Namco Heroin uh, Valkyrie, and one thing I have to say is this music is really good. And I'm sad this game never came out in America. Well, I mean, technically it did come out in America, but I'm glad like no new games in the franchise came out. So yeah, this is so this is kind of like. This is a Avenger arcade game, which which you wish you never see. You stubborn game, where is the sea? Who are you? I'll destroy whoever stands in my way. Oh, okay. I guess uh oh okay, I guess I guess he used a uh, double team, I guess. Ack. So this one you just spin around and uh and uh you know you just kind of uh there we go. You keep killing them until you find a real one. Thank you, Valkyrie. Come to my home. Oh okay. Apparently this kid can make uh has the magical power of building bridges. bridges. I don't know how to express my thanks. Here's a sword of light to show my appreciation. Please help uh, Baba-sama, who is at the end of the village. Alrighty, so... This, so, we now have a sword power-up. Now, sword power pretty much only lasts a limited time before, uh, before they, uh, before they, uh, you know, stop working. You've gone a long way. You're a true hero. I give you the magical power. I like how you can actually spin around during this cutscene. Just made it from generation to generation. Alright, there's also magic. 
The only one I know that you can use is the, uh, the small, it, where you can actually spawn a, a major me. Oh wait, this is Zul. Hello, may I help you? So Zul is the shopkeeper. Uh, I can only, I can only afford this one, so I'll go with that one. Oh, uh, I guess I spawned them in the wall. They know you can actually do that. Well, whoops. Good to, good to know. Alrighty. So one, so one of the things that gets difficult later on in the game is the platforming. Like, literally one of the levels, there's like... I mean, post the game, like... Like, later on, it gets to a point where there's like an exact, like, where platforming literally is it's like an exact like a tiny little pixel or or like four pixels you have to like stand on that counts as a platform yeah talk about excess excessive now there's a chest here which gives us you know some money i think that it gave us some for gold and this one uh, oh Oh well, I guess I don't get the, uh, the magic weapon. Now I think, a, now I think there's a boss coming up. Oh, we, oh, we all magically, uh, get a... We all, we all magically get a little friend. Now, uh, now kind of like, uh, how building the Puma works in, uh, in Smash Bros. If you, if you take damage, you can still move your, your miniature you, or like the miniature version of you. And an attack. They took the golden seed back. When the wind fairy said, "Sing the golden seed in the North Spring." That's the only way to save this world. So now we got to the second level. Alrighty. Well, let's see what let's see what Zool has for us. Let's see. I mean, we again we can only we can only afford the other way. Oh, and, and now that power runs out. So now we have a. Uh, I have little slices here. Hey, 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 hey. Baggery. It was, it was worth it. It was worth it. I guess I can't, uh... Destroy those logs, okay. And luckily I still keep the power up. I don't remember that noise. Oh yeah, that's another problem. Knockback. If you get hit by an enemy during a jump, you basically fall backwards. It's it pretty much is the same issue as the Castlevania games. Well, the NES ones. Actually, doesn't all doesn't all the Castlevania games kind of have that issue with when you're over pits, whatever? There is a spring just north of you. Yeah, gee, thanks, kid. I already know that. If you're able to reach that spring. Gee, thanks. Thanks for being uh, useful. And there's and there's that noise again. There we go.
Apparently trees give you magic. Never knew that. Uh, I'll go, I'll go the larger way. Oh wait, Zul's over there. I'm gonna... Let's go talk to Zul first. Hello, may I help you? Let's see, uh... We can't we can afford anything. We don't want anything. Now press the button quickly. Oop. And I forgot to jump. <laughs> Believe me. However, I think that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy the episode. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.